Hi everyone, my name is Phil Eules and I'm here to give you a quick welcome uh, and an introduction as to how the NF Core Hackathon is going to work. So, welcome to the March 2023 NF Core Hackathon. Uh, we're here today to work together on NF Core Nextflow pipelines, tooling and everything else. First, a quick insight as to who's attending the hackathon and how things have changed. So the last hackathon we did was it was October last year. We had 289 people, which was fantastic. I think it was a record at the time. But this time around, you you lot have outdone yourselves. <laughs> and uh, we're at a phenomenal 408 signups as I speak right now. Maybe more by the time you listen to this, uh, which is uh, an amazing record. Also, this time we're trying something new. We're having 16 different local sites all around the world. So about two thirds of you are actually sitting in a room with other people working together at the hackathon. So hopefully you guys are all getting that hackathon feeling and spirit uh, without having to travel a long way. Um, and also we're running this hybrid, so online as well. So great to see so many of you joining uh, online as well. Uh, hopefully we're gonna have a really good hackathon together. So. Uh, we asked you a few questions when you signed up. There are a few interesting insights there. Firstly, about three quarters of you have never been to an NF Core hackathon before. So if you're sat there feeling a bit nervous, bit of imposter syndrome, don't be. Nearly everyone around you is also a beginner. <laughs> so uh, welcome to everyone who's, who's here for the first time. Great to see you. Um, and a bit of a spread across the different sites, uh, special mention to the Welcome, welcome Genome Campus in Cambridge, a massive showing there, so welcome to all of you. But a really good number of people across all these different sites, uh, and those sites really are spread all over the world. Um, Europe, uh, North America, but also we've got one down in Brazil this year, we've got uh, two in Africa, fantastic uh, showing. So really amazing volunteering by the people leading those, those sites. And if we look at who signed up, all the attendees, we've, the global spread is even better, which is, which is fantastic to see. Um, of course, with that global spread comes time zones. Uh, so just bear in mind that we are spread across these kind of different regions. And if someone's not replying to your pull request review comment or something like that, then it might be because they're asleep. So <laughs> just something to bear in mind. Um, we're running this uh, hybrid and online. So uh, as part of that, we'll be using this Gather or Gather Town platform, which we've used for previous events. If you're not familiar with it, it's basically kind of a little computer game where you set up a little avatar and you can run around exploring. Uh, and if you bump into other people in the space, you can talk to them, uh, which kind of makes it just a bit more interesting than kind of Zoom. Uh, and also means that groups of people can find one another and go off to a little breakout room to chat. Uh, it's really good. It's worked well for our previous events and I hope you enjoy it this time around. Uh, if you're not quite sure where to start, if you go to the NF Core website on the events page and search for Gather, you'll find this bite-sized talk number 37 where James just spends 10 or 15 minutes walking through how the platform works, demos how to use it and gives you a few little uh, secret tricks like how to make your avatar dance. <laughs> um, couple of points to think about with Gather. Firstly, we've put in a list of all the email addresses that, that were used to register. So if you try and sign up with a different email address, it won't work. Use the one that you, you registered. You should have had some emails to that. Um, and even if you're at an Insight uh, in-person hackathon site, please do join on Gather. We're going to be working in big groups and collaborating hopefully across sites. Uh, and if you're online, that really facilitates that. So uh, please do try and keep a gather window, at least in the background, so you can kind of stay in touch. With that and the conversations that might follow, please try to use headphones when you're chatting to people so you don't disturb those around you. Um, as usual with NF Core, um, most of our kind of nitty gritty discussions will be on Slack and that's how we'll, we'll give updates about the, the event as it goes along. So make sure you're, you're registered and signed up and, and got Slack open. Uh, you, can, you can join via NF Core website slash join if you haven't done already. And within Slack, we've got a Hackathon March 2023 channel. And that's where we'll kind of broadcast all the messages and updates and remind you when things are happening. Um, we also have a bunch of kind of sub channels uh, for the different groups that we're working on. So here you can see five different groups, documentation, infrastructure, modules, pipelines, and sub workflows, uh, similar groups to what we've done before. In NF Core hackathons, the groups are very loose. So don't worry too much if you're not sure which to do. And don't worry if you feel like you'd like to change after 10 minutes or two days, that's totally fine. They're just to kind of make it easy for you to find other people working on similar tasks. Uh, so very broad and very relaxed. 
On that note, uh, this year to help with the kind of asynchronous nature and also the fact that we're all kind of spread out so much, each of those group leaders has put together a short YouTube video talking about the kinds of tasks that they'll be working on uh, and what you can expect from that group. Um, it's just to say we don't have to keep repeating the same kind of introduction for people as they filter in. So head over to our NF Core YouTube channel. You'll find a, a, a playlist pinned to the top. I think it should also be on the NF Core events webpage. Uh, and watch one or more of these videos for the groups you think you might be working in, just so you're up to speed with everybody else in the group. So you've watched your video, uh, you've picked your group and you, you know roughly kind of the thing you're going to be doing. Uh, next, hop into the Slack channel, uh, introduce yourself, say hello, say what kind of things you'd like to work on, say you've got no idea what you want to work on if that's the case, <laughs> uh, and just kind of introduce yourself to everyone else. Um, then we've got a GitHub project board. This is on, on the NFCore organization. And we've tried to collect all different issues across the whole NFCore organization there. So if you're not sure what to work on, that's where you go to find a new issue. Uh, and you have a look through, see if anything grabs you. If, once you find something, uh, assign yourself to that issue so everyone can see that you're working on it and we don't duplicate things. Uh, and get to work. Try and do your coding, and when you're done, put in a pull request and uh, maybe try and find someone to review. It works well in the past when we have like a review buddy system, so you could swap reviews with somebody else. Uh, and finally, don't forget this one. Make sure you make a note of what you've done uh, in these HackMD documents, which we'll send around. It's just a markdown document. And that helps us to get an overview, a bird's eye view of all the work that everyone's doing across the organization. I know in a couple of uh, local sites, you might be in slightly different groups working on slightly different things. That's totally fine. Uh, but do try and let us know the central organizers, the things you've been doing. So, uh, so we give you kind of due credit and attention. Um, if you're, especially if you're new or if you're kind of not sure, this all films, feels very kind of unfamiliar, do check out the NF Court events webpage. We've got all of these short bite-sized talks, which we do every Tuesday. Uh, and a lot of them are designed for kind of beginners. So uh, there's GitHub Contribution Basics, which tells you what a repository and a clone and a fork and a pull request is, which is really important for working together. Uh, and there's lots of really good stuff in there. And there's also interesting talks about pipelines themselves and, and more kind of specific information. There. Um, so that's on our YouTube channel, all of those talks. We've also just rewritten all the training material on training.nextflow.io. So if you want to brush up on uh, that particular operator or what a channel factory is, uh, go and have a look. And we've got all the YouTube videos from uh, a couple of weeks ago when we ran this online, uh, also on the YouTube channel. So you can skip through and find the relevant section and watch that if you, if, if you need to. And of course, remember the NF Core website. Um, of course, you're not just here to work. It's a big social aspect to hackathons. Uh, hopefully, we're going to have a lot of fun. Uh, we've got quite a few things going on this time, and most of them are async. Uh, the new one for this hackathon is we're going to run a scavenger hunt. Very simple. We've got a, a Slack channel there called Hackathon March 2023 Scavenger. And in that uh, Slack channel, we've queued up a whole load of challenges. And one will come out about every couple of hours or so through the hackathon. Many of them are requesting that you take a photo of something silly <laughs> or something fun or random uh, and basically go into a Slack message thread under there and, and post your answer to that response. Um, and we'll, we'll share the best ones and it might even send out some rubber ducks to any, any standout performers. <laughs> Um, we're running the NF Core Bingo again, so make sure you keep that uh, in, in your browser tab and, and tick things off as, as they happen. Hopefully GitHub won't go down this time, but it usually does. <laughs> and uh, as usual, prizes for the winners. If you're for everyone in GatherTown, then keep an eye out for all the NF Core socks. This is a, kind of a bit of an in-joke from a previous previous event. So Maxime, who's created the GatherTown space, has, has hidden NF Core sock emoji all over the place. So have a look, see if you can find any, take screenshots when you do. And when you've got the number that Maxime says there are, uh, tell everyone on Slack and, and you'll win a prize. Not all of them are as easy as this one here. Uh, this is a screenshot from a, a previous event of Matthias finding a particularly well-hidden pair nesting under a, a tree there. Uh, we have a quiz, uh, which is the one social event where we're really trying to pull everyone together across all of the sites, time zone permitting. Uh, and we have NF Core themed multiple choice questions. Uh, it uses a, a web platform called Kahoot. Very simple to use. We'll, we'll tell you how to do that when the time comes. Uh, and finally, for social, this time we've uh, got, got funding through Secure Labs. 
uh, and, and Chan Zuckerberg Initiative funding uh, for pizza for those of you who are in Insight's locations. Uh, it's a little bit different how everyone's doing that, so talk to your local site coordinator about when and, and when and where and how. But many thanks to our funders for, for doing that for us. Right, uh, just to wrap up then, don't forget about the safety aspect of this event. By being here, by being part of NF Core, you're agreeing to abide to our code of conduct, which you can find on our website. Uh, it's pretty easy to read actually, uh, so have a skim. Um, make sure you ask people before you take screenshots and gather or take photos of them in real life, uh, get their permission. Don't troll people and take care of yourself. Remember to kind of take, take breaks and have a little walk around every now and then. While I've got your attention, I couldn't help but uh, flag the fact that we've just announced the dates for the NextFlow Summit 2023. Uh, the last event last year in Barcelona was a massive success. I uh, had a brilliant time uh, and we couldn't decide whether to do it in Barcelona again or have one in the States. So we're doing both. <laughs> so uh, join us for one, join us for both. Uh, I'm really, really looking forward to this in October and November this year. So uh, if you can't remember these dates or if you want to be notified when the registration opens, uh, pop over to the summit.nextflow.io website. Uh, you'll find a button on the homepage which takes you to a screen that looks like this where you can tap in your email address and we'll send you an email when registration opens. Um, wrapping up, final thing, quick thank you to some people. Uh, thank you to Chan Zuckerberg Initiative for funding NFCore and Nextflow projects. A uh, big thank you to Secura Labs. If you're not familiar with the name, it's the company that's behind Nextflow, uh, developed Nextflow and, and also other kind of additional products like Nextflow Tower, Wave and Fusion, um, really helping out. And uh, also thank you to the major cloud funders. AWS just gave us a big grant of new credits uh, for all the full-size testing and also to help out our GitHub continuous integration tests. Microsoft have given us credits for full-size testing as well, which we're hoping to get set up during this hackathon, I believe. Uh, and there's a bunch of you sat at Google um, Google offices in London, so thank you, Google, for helping us out with, uh, with that location. And of course, I couldn't go without saying a big thank you to all of the organizers. There's many of you uh, involved in this event, all the local site organizers, loads of loads of volunteers. Um, but big thanks to the core team who keep all the, all the wheels moving with, with NF Core uh, and do so much work for the community. So hats off, guys, and, and thank you. Thank you for your efforts. Right, with that, uh, I'd like to say a big thank you. Uh, thank you for listening to me. Uh, thank you for coming to this uh, hackathon. I hope you have a brilliant time. Uh, shout out if you have any questions or problems on Slack and we'll be more than happy to help. And uh, I'll let the local site coordinator take over if appropriate to tell you about what's going on locally or let you get introduced on, on Gala if not. Thank you very much for listening. <laughs>